Okay, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to uh, log in and access the Student Work Placement Management app. First thing you're going to need to do is download it from iOS or Android. Once you've downloaded it and it's installed, you're going to get an icon like you see here. You're going to click on the icon and it's going to take you to the uh, sign in page or create an account page. The first time you use it, you'll probably have to create a new account. So you'll go ahead and click Create Account and it's going to ask you for your unique learner number, which your school or college will have provided prior to presenting this app to you. If not, please go and contact them for your unique learner number. So we're going to type in the unique learner number. This is just an example student. We've got on our demo site. I'm going to put in a fake email and it's going to ask you to create a new password. So we'll put in, I'll put in a fake password and it's going to ask you to confirm that password. Now at this point, it may let you straight in or it may take you to an additional level of security, which it will ask you for your date of birth, your school name, or confirmation of your full name. Uh, at this point, it probably won't ask me for this information because it's the, oh, we're on the demo site. So I'm going to click Create an Account. And it's going to load up, and before it actually lets you in, it's going to ask you to, if you're under 18, it's going to ask you to confirm that you've got consent to use the app, and it's going to ask you for your uh, parents' details. So I'm going to put in a fake name. Joe Blogs. Hi, Blogs. Joe Blogs. I'm going to put a, a fake telephone number in. I'm going to make a number up here. Obviously, you put your parents' home telephone number or e a, a mobile phone, and it's going to ask you for a parental email address. So again, we'll put in a fake email address, and then it's going to ask for if you've confirmed consent, and then you're going to save. And at this point, it's going to ask you to select some industry that you're interested in taking part in within work experience now that may be course specific or something that you're interested to do when you leave school so at this point just go for the list it's all listed in alphabetical order all the industry types and choose your different industry so i'm going to choose uh, arts and fun arts i'm going to choose creative and design i'm going to choose engineering and then i'm going to click confirm and then it's going to ask me to click continue then the final stage is you log in, it's going to ask you to confirm your health status. Now this is really important because when we, uh, when this, the app or the school or ourselves are liaising with your employer, we need to let them know about your health uh, as part of the risk assessment process. So for the purposes, I'm just going to put that I've got asthma and then I'm going to click save. Okay, now you've successfully logged into the system, you'll be first presented within uh, your profile section, your homepage. And within your own page, you'll see that your industry interests show up and you can add more if you want to. Uh, you can choose additional ones if that, uh, if you've missed something out or you've got an additional interest you want to pursue. I'm just going to choose an additional building construction skill trades and you'll see that and then shows up. You'll see that your parent and guardian details are logged in addition to your health and well-being status and all these can be updated at the very top here and also you can log out uh, at the very top there uh, when you finish using the app once you've logged in you're going to want to then the primary role of the app is to help you self-place um, and to do that we're going to need to create some placements so you click on the create placement button and it's going to ask you for some company details so you're going to put the company name in for the purpose of this i'm going to call this company changing health and we're going to select a category type and this is a healthcare company that i'm going to work at and i'm going to put in the address which is 34 fake street and i'm going to put the company telephone number in and then i'm going to put the company's email address in so i'm going to put no email at test.co.uk and then I'm going to put the contact name who's the manager is the person you're going to be working with so I'm going to call this Bob Smith and I'm going to click save uh, once you put the initial details the company details in uh, which you can actually update once you've done them uh, but once they've gone in it's going to ask you for more information regarding the placement details so we're going to put a job role we need to know what you're going to be doing when you're there and I'm going to be doing a uh, admin role uh, so administrator, I'm going to be an administrator and I'm going to be starting placement uh, next to the start date. I'm going to be starting in October, Monday the 8th. 
and then I'm going to be finishing on Friday the 12th. So I'm doing a week's work experience and each day I'll be working eight hours, including my lunch. So then I click continue and it's going to say, have you got consent from this company for your work experience? Uh, and hopefully, because you're with the employer, the answer is yes. So you're going to click that and you're going to click submit placement. What you'll see then is that you've submitted the placement and you'll see at the top here that it's the change in health is the company. However, at this point, your placement is unverified. Now, a school uh, or a college staff member, the work experience lead, will have an additional section on their software which will allow them to check the company details and then if they're happy with what they see, then they can verify the placement. And you'll see here that the placement underneath has been verified. So this change in Education Limited, actually this placement has been verified by your education provider. So at this point, the company remains unverified, but you have submitted the work placement details. And you'll see if I go back, we are still in that company details. Uh, but if we go back to the home screen, and um, we click on uh, the next bit now is you've submitted your self placement form and uh, we're just going to look then at the placement manager to see what stages you're at so if i click on placement manager you'll see that i've got lots of placements going on here uh, you may only have one or if there's multiple that's fine we can record that and uh, i'm going to show you now the stages of the system so you'll see that there's a difference between some of these uh, placements once you've submitted it the next step really is to see is to make sure that your placement has been verified and once the school or college has verified your placement you're going to want to complete a process so if we click on this bottom placement here and click on placement manager we'll see that at the top here we've got some red asterisks and they're telling us there's certain things that we need to complete and the first thing that we need to complete is that your personal uh, personality questionnaire and the purpose of this is basically to help you understand the kind of things that you want to work on while you're on placement, what employability skills um, are going to be uh, important for you to target and that you're going to need to um, work on whilst on placement. So basically you're setting yourself targets. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to go through and click um, all the answers to these questions and it's split into four categories and I'm probably going to speed the video up because although it's a quick form, uh, for the purpose of the video, I think it's best if we speed it up. And once you finish the form and click save, you will have submitted an action plan. So set those setting yourself targets for whilst you're on way of placement. You'll see at the very top, the box is now ticked to say that you've completed that part of your uh, student journey. And you'll see that this is just increased to 50% complete. So the next stage is, is that you've done your pre-placement questionnaire. Uh, you now ready to go on placement and we would then expect you to complete a student feedback form obviously at this particular placement because it's unverified and the start date hasn't arrived yet it won't actually let you fill in the post work questionnaire the student feedback and see the employer feedback but if we go back to this one if we go to this one that's been 100% complete we'll see that they've all been completed if we tick at the very top you'll see that the um, the post work personality questionnaire has been completed and it's been updated and you'll see there's a difference between the two scoring systems you'll see here that the student has submitted the student feedback details and all the information here will also be logged on the software so the school will be able to see or the college will be able to see what you've said about your time on work placement or the student said about their time on work placement and you'll see here that the employer has fed back uh, about your time on work placement and you'll see that you also have the ability to view the certificate um, and you'll be able to see what, how you've performed while you're on placement. Uh, if the student feedback hasn't been completed it will remain in this state where you've got the red icons at the top and also you'll see that there's actually a nudge there nudging you to explain why uh, that the employer has been sent a request to do it and if it's not been completed yet could you ask them to access their emails to complete the employer feedback. So. Once all these areas have been completed, your student journey will have been at 100% and all the information that you've logged here will be also be updated on the school or college server uh, so the staff there can see uh, everything that you've done while you've been on placement. So once you've uh, completed your journey and it's at 100% and you've completed work placement and all the feedback has been submitted, um, you can access uh, that information 24-7 via the app 
and it's all useful information that you can use in your portfolio when competing for further education and employment opportunities.